All right, so today I'm going to show you how to take a crappy quality logo and turn it into a high quality image. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using one of these symbols. I found this online. It's from the seven deadly sins and I want to use one of these. But as you can see here, if I zoom in, it's pretty pixelated and it looks pretty bad. So if I wanted to put this on something like a shirt or anything, um, it would look pretty bad. So the first thing we're going to do Okay, image adjustments, black and white. And now that will just make the process easier when it comes to selecting the colors and stuff. And in my case, I'm gonna cut out the logo that I want. And so I get that, get that. Control C, file new, okay. And from this, <laughs> once you have the logo, you want it to be square, preferably. I guess you don't, it doesn't have to be square, but then you have to change the canvas size. To me, it's easier if it's square because then you don't really have to do any, any thinking about the numbers. And then you go to canvas size, change it to pixels. And in my case, I'm going a thousand by a thousand. That's a good number. If you're doing a square logo like me, and I'm going to paste in my logo, edit free transform, and I'm going to make it as big as the canvas. I got to hold shift when doing this corner. To make sure that it stays in propor correct proportions and now I can release really shift and click on a different tool and apply that transformation as you can see it still looks really bad it's really pixelated so we're gonna delete this background because we don't need it and we're gonna take the magic wand tool here and select the background now you can see it selected that <laughs> and we're going to right click select the inverse and now that just inverted instead of selecting the white we have the black part selected and now we're going to create a new layer and now we're going to turn this layer invisible while we still have this selected and now we're going to go up here to the top we still have this selected still have the magic wand refine edge and now this is where the magic happens you can use this to smooth and let will show you what happens when i smooth it, it starts looking better and better you can smooth it as much as, you, as much as you want. It kind of makes it look messed up the more you go though. So, you know, I, I'd say 13, 20, 15 is a good number, depending on your logo. And you can take the feather, turn that up some. What that does, it kind of makes it look blurred though. So I don't like that so much. I like to use it a little bit though, maybe 0.5. And then the contrast, I'm not sure what that actually does. So, oh. If you, oh, that makes it look really good. Okay. And then we're going to click OK. And what that did is it made the selection look better. And now we can take our paint bucket, pick our color. Let's go with red. Now let's go with that blue. And we're going to fill in one of these slots. And that will fill in our logo. Look at it. It's beautiful. And then for the sake of this, since there was a, a circle there, you know, you can touch it up. There was a circle here that's now gone. I'm going to go ahead and try to delete that. Select that. Delete. And bam. Now you have your improved HD logo. You zoom in. It's not quite as bad. I mean, you could have smoothed it even more, but it looks a lot better than the original. Anyway, hope that helped. See you later.